So if you could just say your name and how long you've lived in this uh, My name is Tiffany Savage. I have lived in Cambridge about six years. Ten years ago, I lived in Somerville for about four years, but I've been in Middlesex County close to 15 years altogether. So where I stay right now is at a um, facility that will only take um, people from Somerville, Cambridge area. So I have to kind of change a lot of my living. This and never mind my past, you know, prior record. And it's such a vicious cycle to get out of. And um, in a shelter where there's people using, but I'm not. And you know, to be honest, it's hard to be in a place like that, clean. You know, when you have the mental illness, depression mm -hmm. sets in. I mean, and and they say, well, just say no. It's mind over matter. I w if it was that easy, <laughs> I don't have a voice, uh, you know, of like, well, listen, if you say no to this, you're back on the bottom list, you're going to wait another, and I'm going to say at least five years. You know, you're trying to live the right way and make an honest living, or I remember one time I was, in, you know, brought to the emergency room in BMC, and one of the doctors said, you know, I'm so sick of you people from the clinic. And like, I, and, and like, I started to believe that I wasn't worth it, and like, I deserved to hear it, and you're right, you know, I'm in here all the time, and yeah, it's, it's not a good feeling, but you know what, you take those bad feelings, see, you know what, I refuse to allow somebody to let me feel that way again. I've, I've buried too many people in the last couple of years, and um, I don't want, like, I have a 11-year-old son, I don't want to be a nice person. For a little while at a time, I thought, well, you know what, maybe he'd be better off without me. No way, I just talk to him and I say, like, you know, like there's a lot of um, self-esteem, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that goes with it. A lot of people yeah. go to the Y, like an SRO. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get, I see get stuck there because now they're not priorities. Mm -hmm. I feel like it takes away your, your humanness, mm -hmm. like you're still, you're still looked down on. Things get passed and don't get passed. And you know what, I, I hate to say it, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but when Chai Baker got put in office in my Walsh, all of a sudden the island got shut down. Right. It had a huge shelter. It had... Like 300 beds. Yeah, it's beds. They had places for people for HIV, a yeah. safe place to go to get housing through there. Yeah. They had detoxes. They had halfway houses. Yeah. They had holdings. And we still don't have Yeah, re-entry from people coming out of prison. I'm very aware of those things. And it's like, what can I do? And that's why I got on... Um, the exchange committee. It's getting harder to stay there, keep community, family. Yeah. Um, everybody needs to get out of the cold, um, get something to eat, get resources, find out, get advocates, and um, just get education or help if they need it, you know? Yeah. So that's a good thing to happen. That's so great. Have you...